Hi, thank you so much for clicking on the video and I hope everyone is doing really well. And thank you so much to everyone who has subscribed to this channel. It's amazing. Every single time that number is a little bit bigger, even if it's just one, one digit higher, I'm always super shocked and super thrilled. So thank you so much. And if you are new to the channel, I would recommend subscribing if you're interested in videos about eating disorders, nutrition, health, and diet. Eating disorders don't just show up out of nowhere, they have to stem from something. And one of those things that eating disorders can evolve from is something called disordered eating. Disordered eating is any form of abnormal eating habits and behaviors. These habits and behaviors can eventually turn into a diagnosable eating disorder, but a eating disorder does not always develop when there is disordered eating. The difference between an eating disorder and disordered eating is the severity and frequency of these behaviors. Disordered eating impacts a person's social, emotional, and physical life in a negative way. Physical side effects include fatigue, malnutrition, and poor concentration. Social side effects include social anxiety and removing oneself from socializing and or avoiding social situations that may include food or eating. Continuously removing yourself from social situations and interacting with other people can eventually lead to an emotional side effect like depression. Some common behaviors and attitudes that accompany disordered eating are binge eating, obsessive dieting, often skipping meals, purging after eating, constantly calorie counting, basing your self-worth off of body shape and or weight, overusing laxatives or diuretics, fasting, resisting certain foods, or restraining from eating. So if disordered eating is abnormal, what is normal? Normal eating is when a person has a healthy relationship with food rather than obsessing over the types of food they eat or the amount of food they eat. Normal eating can look like this. Some days you eat more and some days you eat less. Eating foods just because you like the taste. Having a positive attitude towards food and not viewing food as the enemy. Not labeling foods as good, bad, or clean. You don't judge yourself based off the foods you choose to eat on occasion over or under eating, having food cravings, and allowing yourself to have those cravings. And finally, treating food and eating as just one part of a well-balanced life. One way to counter disordered eating is with something called mindful eating. Mindful eating will help people develop a gratifying, pleasant, and healthy relationship with food and eating. It can help people break free from the vicious cycle of judgment that surrounds eating and food. It's not a diet, rather it's a way to eat instead of what you eat. It is when you become self-aware. And by that I mean you become aware of the positive effects and nutritional compounds of cooking and eating foods that are both delicious and healthy. Mindful eating helps you respond to food without judgment. Being self-aware of the feelings of hunger and being aware of the physical senses of when to start and when to stop eating. Recognizing what causes you to eat mindlessly that could be emotional reasons, social pressures, or certain foods. As I learned about disordered eating, I realized something. The less and less I binge and purge, the more and more I am stepping away from my eating disorder. When there still is a pattern of these kind of behaviors, that is disordered eating. And I'm realizing that the less strong my eating disorder is, the more aware I am becoming of my disordered eating habits. And by implementing the tactics of mindful eating and moving away from mindless eating, the more I believe that I will progress into normal eating and a normal relationship with food. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did, please give this video a like. If you have not subscribed, yet. I highly recommend that you do. So please subscribe for more videos about diets and eating disorders, health and nutrition, and I will see you next time. Bye!